10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, engine full power, and the stop. Go action three. Further beyond, opening the door for more to follow. Godspeed AX3. SpaceX Dragon 2 Alpha. Some loud, loud cheers here as we can see that the first, first and second stages have separated. A beautiful view there. The brighter light is the second stage under power. Right through with these clouds should be uh, our first view once again. There it is. Just like magic, we see landing zone one. Crowds cheering here at SpaceX Mission Control Hawthorne as we tune in to see if we stick the landing. And if you couldn't tell by the loud cheers, we did. We did Stage stick. Two, FTS has saved. We did stick that landing. Taking a look uh, at Dragon, what we're waiting for is nose cone deployment, among other things, which as Kate mentioned earlier, there we go. Dragon separation confirmed. As you can see, Dragon has separated from the second stage. A pretty cool view here looking up at the heat shield that will return the AX3 crew back to Earth in just about two weeks. So this is our first view of AX3 flying free. One. Crowds cheering here at SpaceX Mission Control Hawthorne as we tune in to see if we stick the landing. And if you couldn't tell by the loud cheers, we did. We did Stage stick. Two, FTS has saved. We did stick that landing. Yeah, I hope. Dragon, this is the uh, SpaceX uh, Falcon team. We want to congratulate, congratulate you on a great ride to orbit. I think you're. Everything looking good, though inside four meters. You heard that call out from the crew operations resource engineer in Hawthorne, California, 442 AM Central Time. Dragon Freedom has made contact and soft capture with the International Space Station as the two were flying together 262 statute miles over the South Pacific Ocean. As we continue to uh, monitor the progress of this ring retraction, now getting some sun illuminating the nadir or earth-facing side, and now the whole thing of Dragon Freedom. Sun is rising over the uh, South Pacific Ocean as Dragon and International Space Station continue to fly on a southeastern trajectory. Together first through the hatches, Marcus Wandt and Alper Gizrauchi of Sweden and Turkey, respectively, being greeted by the crew of Expedition 70. The two are followed by Walter Villaday, pilot of the Dragon Freedom, 
last coming into the International Space Station, Commander Michael Lopez Alegria. Thank you to all participants and welcome aboard Axiom 3 Station. We are now resuming operational audio communications. 